Hello, hi, what's good? My name is Kyra. If you didn't know, then welcome to my channel. And if you didn't know, then welcome back. So, I look quite atrocious. <laughs> I'm like, I'm, I don't think I've ever filmed a video looking this bad. My lips look so black. I'm like, what the hell? I just woke up. It's definitely like 7.30 in the morning. I've been up for about 30 minutes. Um, I just wanted to, you know, set up this tripod, get everything set up and ready. So today, I'm going to be filming a day in the life of a nail tech. Um, definitely vlog style, you know, if you haven't peeped. <laughs> like I said, it's like 7 in the morning, so I just wanted to come on here, you know, fresh before I was ready, before I felt like the nail tech that I really am. <laughs> so if y'all didn't know, I am a licensed nail tech. I've had my license for almost two years now. That's crazy. Um, today will be pretty chill, but like not chill at the same time. I don't have a lot of clients, so it won't be like back to back to back to back client work. Which is why I wanted to film this video today because the life of a nail tech is not just about clients, you know. Today I got to put this little pearl back on my nail. <laughs> okay, because I do hit my hands a lot, so I tend to just sometimes, you know. Sometimes that whole like nails are jewels and not tools thing, like I need to live by that. Like I tell my clients that all the time. I need to live by that because I go so hard on my hands. But anyway, so I need to fix that for myself. I have a set of press-ons that I need to finish. I need to work on my website. I need to, I have a client, like I said, she has a soak off and a new set. Um, I gotta work out, I need to get ready, I need to shower, I need to eat, like, we gotta do all these things. This is a full jam-packed day. So, we're gonna go ahead and get started because I really don't have forever to be sitting here rambling and I sound crazy and I'm tired of looking at myself like this any freaking way, so. Let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna start with this workout. So that way I can go ahead and get that in, get that out the way. <sighs> Exciting news before the workout. I actually have an Amazon package downstairs. So I'm about to go downstairs and grab that really quick. So I can go ahead and open that up. You know, give me some energy before I do this workout. So <laughs> let's go get these packages. But y'all, I got my package. Um, I don't know if y'all do this too, but it's not a joke. You gotta spray these packages. <laughs> and then I always put on hand sanitizer after, but anyway, I'm very excited. Let's see what we got. I could have definitely filmed at a different angle, but I'm like, this is fine, right? Honestly, I can't even show y'all everything because a lot of it is for my website, you know? Not like a rebrand, but we're definitely revamping some things. I'm adding a bunch of new products. Go head over to krozel.com. I'm gonna put it right here. Okay. Get you some press-ons. I can make this set and press-ons if you want it. I can make whatever kind of set and press-ons that you want. You know? So I am gonna be making a cuticle oil. So I got a couple of my ingredients for this. I received a scale because like I said, I'm making the cuticle oil. So I needed a scale you know i feel like i shouldn't really use a weed scale <laughs> to measure you know my oils so i said let me get a kitchen scale let me let me be bougie let's not get weed crumbs inside of the fucking oil and then i thought about that like you know how people put like rose petals and stuff inside of oils i'm like can you put like weed nugs like would that do anything i'm very very excited for all the big old changes coming i'm like it's 2021 it's a new year you know as we all know, 2020 was pretty shitty. I'm not one. I'm not the person to say, like, oh, next year everything will be better. Because I'm like, it's just the change of a calendar date. Like, if you don't personally change your actions, and this year is going to be the exact same, that 2020 was for you. But my actions are changing, okay? My biggest thing is staying consistent. I always want to do a bunch of stuff in my head, and then I don't do it. And then I, I get irritated with myself, or I get overwhelmed, because then I waited all until the last minute. Like, I, 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 it's just a circle. And this year, I'm not doing it um in so many videos i said that i've filmed a million videos which i have y'all like i have filmed so many videos for y'all over the past like 2020 um some of them i started editing some of them i didn't some of them i just deleted and it's just like i never followed through like that consistency was not there so this time is different this time i planned out this video before i even got the uh, i planned that out last night y'all last night anyways i'm just rambling now i'm about to go put all these goodies away change into my workout clothes go put my waist trainer on and then y'all will see me again because we gotta work out together so 
let's go do this workout for real this time all right y'all so i'm back it's literally like getting late like low-key not really late but the time is going by a little bit faster than i wanted it to right now it's kind of like 9 30. i took some vitamins i have my waist trainer on i have a working out outfit on clearly i just talked to my mom for like two hours and that was that like the last thing i did was open up those packages from amazon and then all i've done is change my clothes try to put my hair in a ponytail because i don't like to work out in a hoodie and then like i said i just talked to my mom for like two hours so now it's kind of grand time i normally <laughs> don't work out um, in my beauty room sometimes i do honestly just because there's tile in here and hardwood floors and the rest of my house and i do live in an apartment so when i jump up and down and stuff if i'm on the hardwoods the people downstairs can hear me but for some reason with this like tile floor they can't hear me if i'm jumping so i do like to work out in here but sometimes i like to do a change of scenery i feel like i do everything in here i film in here i do nails in here i do makeup in here i do my hair in here like i just do everything in here so sometimes i like to switch it up but since i am filming and it's like pretty gloomy and stuff outside um i'm gonna just film in here because the lighting is the best in here and like i said it's gloomy so in here would definitely be the best i'm gonna do a little like 20 minute workout i'm gonna just create one myself okay so I know I'm gonna just time lapse my workout so you know if it seems like it's going really fast, you know, it's the time lapse, okay? <laughs> Y'all, I'm so out of shape. It's not even funny. Woo, I'm so glad I got that workout in. Like, that was definitely my first workout of 2021. Today is only the fourth. But still, I'm like, ooh. Woo! But guess what, y'all? I'm going to be 23 come April. And I got a little goal. Like, it's definitely not a weight goal. Whatever the number says on scale, I don't really care. And I'm happy with the number that's on the scale, I guess, I suppose. Even though I just said I don't care. But I want my waist snatch. And I would like a booty. I'm literally editing now and like what it's really like to lose a 100 pound video i've actually lost 100 pounds i used to weigh like 254 and now i'm like 157 honestly after christmas i, I said my scale was like 159 i ain't gonna lie but i'm gonna just blame that on all the collard greens and mac and cheese and shit so i have a goal i just really want to get rid of like all the loose stuff and just tighten everything up like that's the point that i'm at so we gotta do it you actually have to do stuff to get there you know but anyway so i'm about to go Hop in the shower now. I normally don't wear makeup when I have clients, so I'm probably not going to, especially because it's gloomy and stuff. Sometimes I do like my brows, because again, you know, I have a whole face mask on. There's like, there's really no point of doing makeup, especially when I have so much other stuff to do today. Hello, y'all, I am back. Made it out the shower. It's time to do my hair. Yeah, I got dressed, clearly. Every time I have a client, I like to wear, uh, literally, and excuse me, but clearly my ponytail got wet up in the shower, the edges are gone, I had to wash my face. My face is like super dry right now because I haven't done my skincare. All besides the point. But every time I have a client, whether it be makeup or nails, I always like to wear all black. Um, I do have a little like nail shirt that says nails on it. And I know like it doesn't matter that it's dirty, but it bothers me. Like it's clean. Like I wash it. Like it smells like laundry detergent. But there's so many different like polish stains and like acrylic stains. Like I've had it since I was in nail school. So... I kind of just want to get another one. Like, I would rather look clean in all black clothes than wear my nail shirt with, like, nail stains and stuff all over it. Which, again, I know, like, everybody's different. It would make sense to wear the dirty item to do something that may get you dirty again. But I try not to get polished on myself, okay? So, like I said, as a nail tech, I mean, I feel like a lot of people in the, the beauty industry, they always wear, like, all black. Like, that is the go-to thing. You just look so clean. You look crisp. I mean, my outfit is definitely very chill. I just have on a black bomber jacket. Underneath, I have on a white shirt. It just has like a little bat on it. But that's why I have my jacket zipped up. And this material is perfect because dust can just right off of it. Um, and I do have a dust collector. And then my client, like her design, doesn't even have polish or anything like that. It's more so like a rhinestone design. So that's where I'm like, I should definitely be fine to wear the outfit that I'm wearing. And then I just have on black rip jeans 
And honestly, I have on black slides right now. Depending on what service I'm doing, I prefer to wear closed toed shoes. Um, I feel like as an outside, you should always wear closed toed shoes just in case because anything could happen. My bad, y'all. I've gotten a phone call. So, anyway, I always like to do like normally a slick back style just because, again, when you're doing nails, there's dust, there's polish, there's anything that can like get into your hair. I don't want it in my hair. So, I like to just slick it back. So, that's what we're about to do real quick. Just debating on doing my eyebrows. <laughs> Just because I look crazy and I'm tired of looking greasy, but I might not. So, first things first, skincare. I use toner. You should always use toner. I use the witch hazel, the cucumber one, okay? No. I look tired, too. I am tired. And what are these red, like... Fuck it. Whatever. Then I use my serum. Get longevity eye cream. I use a facial oil. So my best friend in the whole entire world, Miss Jennifer, the CEO of Aura Skincare Shop. That is her. She makes skincare products. Okay. That are bomb as shit. All natural, all organic. <laughs> Let me do my hair because I feel like that is what makes the biggest difference. That will have me not looking so homeless, especially because my eyes are so tired. I'm like, oof, maybe I should do my brows. It's super, super cold water mixed with conditioner. I I'm just trying to just detangle my hair with my fingers. Now that my hair is slightly wet, it's more wet than it was before, it's not staying up in the air, I'm using the Kinky Curly Knot today. This is just like a leave-in conditioner slash detangler in one, so I like to use a little bit of this because it just gives my hair more slip. And then I just use the wet brush. I use the um, like thick and coarse hair one. I gotta determine what kind of part I want. I either do a middle or side. Since I already kind of got a middle part going on here, I'm gonna just do a middle. This is where my long nails come in handy. <laughs> By no means is this like the straightest part, but it's good enough. So anyway, once I have my part, like I said, I wet the top just a little bit.
It's edge time. She looks more put together than this girl over here. You see what I'm saying? So also while I've been sitting here, I decided I'm not going to do my brows. Um, I need to go in and do all the other priorities that I have. Because if I was not filming, I know I would not take that extra 15 minutes to do my brows. I know I would just go in. I would rather eat breakfast or do some. So this is this. This is my finished look, okay? <laughs> okay, so it's a good 12 o'clock at this point. Y'all know I'm still kind of trying to hurry, but I decided it's time to eat. I got me some tricks with some Apple Jacks, you know, a good little nutrition breakfast brunch, really, since it's like 12 situation. And then I just have my planner and then my notebook. This is where I write like all my to-do list and stuff. And then my planner is where I like schedule appointment. I have client sheets in here so I have like all my clients names and numbers and stuff like that um yeah so I'm just going to take a little break while I eat it's not really a break but just take a moment to like plan out my day for tomorrow and like any appointments and like just kind of jot all that kind of stuff down while I just eat my food so again back with another time lapse so if it goes really fast I apologize I don't know about y'all but I prefer time lapse over just like fast forwarding a clip. You know what I mean? So really briefly before my client comes, I never like to have anything messed up with my nails before I have a client just cause like I'm a nail tech, you know, like my nails have to look really bomb. Um, this little pearl came off. Like I said earlier, I'm really aggressive on my hands. So it's supposed to look like this with a little pearl, but it came off. So really quick, I'm literally just gonna glue a pearl right there. Of my gym gel, that is more than enough. And then I literally just cleanse it just to make sure that the gym gel didn't leave like any sticky stuff. And honestly, I just love cleaning off my rhinestones periodically. I feel like they shine more. Like look at this one compared to this one. I feel like this one's shining more than this one. <laughs> crazy um as you peeped it's 1 38 my client is supposed to come at 3 but she just messaged me saying she'll probably be here early at like 2 45 so i'm about to take care of a couple of like online things that i have to do shout out me and my website if you guys have not seen it yet like i said carozel.com you know definitely a cute vibe get you some press lines watch my youtube video do whatever you want. So we're getting close to the latter part of the day. My client coming um, right now, it's like 2.30. Like I said, she said she might be here around like 2.45, but her appointment's for three. So I know anywhere from 2.45 to three o'clock, she's gonna pull up. Excuse my hair. 
I'm gonna have to redo my edges. I laid in bed for like a quick little second, okay? I know this is kind of a shitty angle, but I did it at this angle because I already want to do a nail room tour, so I didn't want to like give y'all all the goodies, you know what I mean? But on the table, I always keep my e file. I have my little cup with all my brushes, acrylic brushes, like tip cutters, pliers for like nail piercings, nail art brushes, like dotting tools, like little my wax picker upper for my crystals like all that type of stuff i keep in there and then i keep my lamp on my table of course i really love this lamp it goes up to a bunch of different settings you can like change the light setting you could change how bright it is it moves a lot it's not a promo but i really like this lamp like if you're a nail tech i highly recommend this lamp all i really need to do to set up um i already lysol wiped this section down i always 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 lysol wipe this i always clean this out as well i always clean it with lysol as well so i gotta pour some more monomer in here for my clients pour some barbicide and put her tools i don't know why i'm explaining it instead of just doing it so come on oh first things first sanding band you are not supposed to use the same sanding band on a client like after every client you gotta change the sanding band now this one I had used on myself, so that's why I didn't change it already. Normally I do it like after that client leave, like as soon as they leave, like as soon as they walk out the door, I come and clean my nail area just because I don't want any germs lingering. My hands are already clean, but I always sanitize my hands before I touch anything that I'm gonna use on my client. So I just put on some hand sanitizer. <music> go ahead and get out some clippers a cuticle pusher and some nippers as far as barbicide you got to mix barbicide with water you always put the water first and then the barbicide you, you can't put water inside of barbicide or it won't work Anyway, so as y'all saw, um, I was able to get a couple things done on the computer. I created like one Canva post. I didn't get to do everything that I wanted to do, but like I said, I need to go ahead and set up for my clients since she might come early. I poured the monomer, um, put all her implements in barbicide. As you saw, I Lysol sprayed everything, Lysol wiped everything, and now I am ready. Um, I have my soak off bowls right here ready to do the soak off i'm about to set up this camera right exactly where i want it to be um for the duration of her appointment and then i'm gonna go ahead and hook up my old phone to my speaker so i get some music playing and that's about that honestly y'all so far it's been like it feels like it's been such a long day and it's not even three o'clock yet and i'm just like wow it's been such a long day but my favorite part of the day is physically doing nails so i'm excited for my clients to get here um yeah, okay, let's go.
gracious this is the outro to this freaking video okay <laughs> i'm so tired my back hurt it's been a long day that is literally the definition of an l-tech day like a day in the life of an l-tech you're gonna end up with your neck hurting your shoulder hurting your back hurting <sighs> but it's always fun again to do clients it's always fun to work on my business do new things and like figure out new things and discover new things about myself and just work on my talent and give people super bomb nails we had to do a soak off and a full set like i said the soak off y'all took so long like <laughs> so long it's crazy it does not make any sense like it's so late right now so yeah that was that i really hope you guys enjoyed this video today i had a good productive day i feel like i hope you got to see a little bit of what it was like to be a nail technician if anybody wants to be a nail tech you know, you get to see this is my life at home. Again, I am a licensed nail tech. I did work in a salon for a little bit of time, but I prefer having my own business, being a home tech. To me, that is the most awesome thing ever in life. Again, I hope you liked this video. If you did, leave a comment, leave a like, subscribe, stay tuned for more videos. If you need some press-ons, if you want to book an appointment yourself, head over to kwozel.com. Again, I can make you some press-ons like these, or I can make you a full set like these, you know, whatever you want. Or short, you know, they could be short, they could be square, they could be round, they could be or whatever you want. Custom. But yeah, I hope y'all have a great day, a splendid first night. I'll catch you on the flip. I can't believe I really did this whole video without makeup too. I'm really proud. I'm really proud. <laughs> but I will catch y'all on the flip side.